Hey everybody, it's me, it's Roach. That's right, look at me. I'm not playing Tony Moretti, and I'm not playing Mitch Anderson either, um, or anybody else like that. I'm actually just me. I'm here today to do something a little bit unique. Some of you know that I do collect. It would be kind of cool to give you guys a tour of the guest room. Uh, it's actually the guest room slash my office where I stream and where I used to make my videos and stuff. And, and it's also my collector room. It's where I keep all of the cool nostalgia stuff that really speaks to me. Yeah, without further ado, let's go right into it and I'll explain a little bit more at the end of the video. Future Roach here. I just wanted to make note that there was a big problem with my audio. It was, for some reason, not recording um, during the filming, and I didn't want to film the tour again. So I'm just going to go ahead and voice over the whole thing, if that's okay with everybody. Okay, so let's start this off right here. This is the bed uh, for the guests, but we actually use this uh, to lie down while we're watching movies or playing the Switch or stuff like that, you know. So we just, uh, you know, find that's more comfortable than putting a sofa. Also, when we have some guests like family and stuff, it's nice that they actually have a bed. Now, I could have had a sofa bed here or something. Uh, it's still in the air to actually uh, happen. So I think it's going to happen at some point. Really cool, big um, Mario movie, like, poster in the back or it's it's kind of like material uh, like a clothing cloth type material it's really really cool got that on amazon for real cheap so uh, i thought that would look nice to fill up that wall right there and immediately we're going to go up to the top corner you can see there's like a nice super mario brothers wonder um, it's uh, it's kind of like an exclusive uh, 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 art piece i suppose uh, uh, that they used to give uh, away at uh, gamestop so was it GameStop? I think it was Walmart, I, I believe. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, that was that. Uh, there's my really cool Mario hats at the top. I really love these things. These were also on Amazon. I, I, I'm pretty sure I got all of those on Amazon. So, and right below that, uh, you can see there's like a bunch of my old movies. Now, I'm a big fan of the 1993 uh, Mario Brothers. Uh, movie. So yeah, it's a live action, really horrible movie, but it's so horrible. It's good to me. Uh, anyways, you can see here, I got like every media style from VHS to the cassette tape for the audio soundtrack, uh, CD and DVDs and 4k and Blu-ray. I even have the most recent super special 4k edition right in the center there. I just received that, uh, this month. So I'm really proud of that piece along with some of the series um, seasons in the back of the old Mario show as well on TV. We're with the Mario Brothers and plumbing's a game. We're not like the others who get all the fame. This is the actual vinyl soundtrack. So it's a vinyl soundtrack. It's really cool. Right next to that is the Bowser vinyl soundtrack. It's the seven incher from the new movie, actually, the uh, 2023 movie. And then next to that, we have a... Um, uh, laser disc. That's another form of video. Uh, very obscure form of video. We don't uh, see many of these at all. I, that one's actually pretty rare. It was hard for me to find. Um, then right below that, we have some more vinyls. This is from the official Mario movie. You probably recognize it now. Uh, so it's the 2023 movie version, and I have all of the different types. So we have the peach version, which is pink and yellow. And in the center here, this is the gold marble one. And then the one at the right is the Mario Luigi colors, red and green. And next to that, we have uh, my little coin collection. It's not much, but these are like, uh, you know, collectible coins or pre-order coins and stuff like that it's it's nothing huge it's not like it's super rare or anything like that but i really like those so this is the poster that they handed out at the theaters for the movie and i still have mine it's kind of dripping there because the little sticky stuff is not holding uh, then we have some super mario brothers wonder merch uh basically it's all pre-order stuff with the actual game in the back and a standee which i got at a store they gave it to me which was really cool 
Uh, so yeah, it's like exclusive stuff. Kind of tough to get, impossible to get now. And we got the controllers at the top, um, a few different kinds of controllers. And then over here is the actual movie, the 2023 Mario Brothers movie. Yeah, I believe here we have the green cassette tape. Yeah, it's the soundtrack on a cassette. And right next to that, we have the red cassette tape. So I actually went out of my way to get both of these, which was really, um, it's something. You get a random one when you order it on the website. Uh, I'm not sure if they actually even still have these. And then we have the CD, uh, the actual CD uh, over here. So this is a soundtrack again. Nothing too special, but it's really cool to have. I believe the CDs are red and green inside from what I saw in unboxings because I keep everything sealed. Hey, you can see me there in reflection. Here's the Walmart exclusive uh, tin star collectible edition of the movie. And then we have uh, the Target exclusive lentacle cover of the Mario movie. And then we have the Steelbook version. I believe this is the Best Buy exclusive right here. It's a 4K Ultra uh, Best Buy. So it's Steelbook is really nice. It's so simple. Like, I don't know, a lot of people hate this one. It gets a lot of flack in the collector world, but I like it. And then we have just a regular old DVD. Just needed the regular DVD with that. So it has a slip cover. It's really cool. Everything is protected because I like to put protectors on almost everything. So couldn't find one for this though. And up here, that's right up the desk. Uh, these are just the cover arts of the first three games on the NES. Really like those. Classic. Um, some drawings right there on top of the printer. <laughs> that is my kids. They love to make drawings for me. And then I scan them into my PC. Here's my original uh, three Pokemon games. And then, um, on the Game Boy, obviously. I think you guys know this. And there's the Pixel. These are like special drinks that they made around here in Quebec. I'm not sure if they're available worldwide or anything. But it, one for Mario and one for Zelda. And uh, then we have a couple of 2DSs. One of them is, is hacked, like, you know, so it can play anything and the other one's regular. With my big uh, regular DS. And then we have the World Championship. Uh, it just came out, so that's a really cool deluxe set. And here's my handhelds. So needless to say, you can see the titles of each one. I'm sure you recognize a lot of these. My favorite is the Game Boy Micro. So small, but awesome um so yeah and um and of course i really love the new 3ds the big blue one there uh really nice piece i play with that a lot here's another super mario brothers wonder stuff and this is a bunch of pre-order stuff uh, like bonuses from gamestop and stuff like that so here's the slip cover this is exclusive to canada actually uh really cool because it's the cover of the gamecube game that you could put as a slip cover on top of your um, the Switch game, so it looks really cool. It, you know, has the spine of the GameCube and everything. It's really awesome. And then a few Mario RPG things, Mario Kart, uh, just a bunch of pre-order stuff. And then I, I really love this part right here. This uh, Mario Wonder um, magnets. It's like a magnet set. This was an exclusive from Walmart. So I, I love that. I, I just really love it. I wish I could unpack a lot of these things and just play around with them but my stupid collector brain won't let me so let's move on uh they would hand these bags to uh in the theaters to people well i mean you would have to pay for it obviously but yeah i got one there's one right there they don't make those anymore so they're getting more rare um and here's my pc yay that's that's where all the magic happens uh, and then we got some office like stickers. They're not like sticker stickers. You can like remove them. They're made to be on like glass. So it fits really nicely. There's Stanley in the back here. And uh, there's my headphones and my microphone that I'm talking to you right now throughout, of, you know, because we're voiceovering this thing. And a bunch of stickers, Mario stickers. I'm a big Mario fan. I don't know if you guys noticed, but yeah. Um, uh, that is not lube, that is hand sanitizer. We uh, sanitize our hands around here often. And a little diet soda in the back there. Zero sugar, of course. I'm on that diet. So right here is the office. Uh, it's kind of like Legos. I, I forget what even this brand is. But yeah, those are there. And then below that, we got a bunch of like Marvel Legend little figures. I, I like these things. 
like they're all retro back to like the time uh, I used to watch the show this is what they look like so um, and then we got like uh, some Mario movie merchandise let's get into that a little bit uh, some of the carts from the Mario Kart part um, if you guys saw that movie so anyways yeah obviously they're gonna play Mario Kart in there right um and these are mini figures like one inch figures uh i got i got the whole set by the way just to just to clarify i literally have every piece of merchandise or main merchandise that is possible there are some things i don't have but they're like really i don't care kind of things but i got all the main stuff so uh these are retro uh teenage mutant ninja turtles uh the same ones i used to have when i was a kid I got them again right here, um, and uh, they're all sealed. Of course, I'm not going to play with them. Sorry, the brightness of outside is making this screen kind of look weird. Um, and there's some Hot Wheels at the top. All I have every single Hot Wheels from the movie that is available right now. Uh, and those are like keychain well, hangers. Yeah, they're like hangers for your backpack. That's what those are. And then we got the Let's Go, the Big Mario. Yeah, right there. And we got the big uh, Luigi. I forget. They're, they're really tall. They're like, I don't know. They're like a foot and a half almost. There's a big Bowser inflatable thing. And right here is really cool. Um, just move this for a second. And then uh, we have this like Donkey Kong uh, racing thing from the movie. And uh, we have the same thing in the back here, which is funny, but this is with the singular Mario. And then the other bigger set is is because it comes with three uh, Hot Wheel cars. So yeah, I literally had to get both versions uh, of this. Kind of silly. I, I felt silly for this purchase. It was just weird. And then right here we have the Power Morpher with the uh, sword gun from the Power Rangers. This is like a 1993 piece. I used to have this when I was a kid and I have it again. Uh, the actual morpher is right up here and it's a metallic one. It's not the original plastic. The plastic is in the box, but uh, this is like an, an upgrade custom version, uh, but it looks like show accurate. And then those are the Power Rangers, of course, uh, and the Megazord in the back. And then we got like the big figures. Here are like the five inch figures with the big Bowser there as well. Uh, literally have all of the figures uh, that they released through the movie. They have a very uncanny look in their eyes. Uh, probably can't tell when you're filming, but it always looks like they're looking at you. It's really weird. The, the, the whole eyes thing with this one, uh, except for Bowser. Uh, just really weird. Weird feeling. Go past the Power Rangers again. Those are like 12-inch figures, by the way. They're huge. Uh, here we got like the Racer, the RC car and then we have the i love this this is the mario uh, uh merchandise from mcdonald's at least north american they're all in there all eight pieces are in there and i kept the mario <laughs> happy meal box from the movie i really love the movies man the 1993 and the 2023 movie they're really cool i still have my popcorn bag in the back here are some uh Hot Wheels again, the, the set of four. And then we have the Castle playset with Mario and Peach. This is my cup that I had at the theater. Really cool cup right here. And it's really like good quality too. It's not like shit, you know? And then we have another playset in the back. This is the Bowser playset. Looks really cool. And of course we got the Monopoly game. Yep, they actually made a Monopoly game, but Monopoly always has to monopolize everything, so. And then I got this popcorn bucket at the theater. There it is. Uh, and then we have the uh, Root and Go game. And then we have these small play sets. This is Donkey Kong small play set. And then we have the uh, Mario Van um, small play set right here. That's the majority, I think, of all of the uh, merchandise. I've got a lot of that merchandise throughout the uh, throughout the time this movie's been released. So now we're gonna move on to the next section. This is one of my favorite sections. Um, I call it the retro closet uh, because it's well, it's just that's where we play all the retro games. Uh, I got a nice CRT TV in there and a lot of retro stuff and and 
A lot of my childhood is in here. Uh, it's very condensed, but I like the way I have it set. So uh, let's have a deeper look into that. So we're going to start with up here where we have a really cool uh, still all in box PlayStation 2 DVD controller. That's right. We used to we played DVDs in the PS2. That's how we mostly did it back in the days. Uh, and uh, here's uh, the Mario figures. Now look at that. That's from the 1993 movie. Uh, insane. The prices used to be five bucks and this went into a clearance bin for two bucks. Now, um, each of these kind of average at around 100 bucks Canadian. Luigi and Mario, Bob Hoskins, obviously, rest in peace. They're worth like 250 bucks in Canada. I love these figures. I have the whole set and really happy. Now, behind these figures, you'll find uh, my actual inbox, like, you know, NES. So I have the action set, the, the one here with the uh, orange gun, not with the gray gun. Gray gun is actually the first print, but yeah. Uh, so I ended up getting that like pretty recently, actually, because I had to sell my other one at one point because I needed money. And uh, so, yeah. And here's my Super Nintendo. It's, uh, it's full, complete in box, you know, and everything, all that good stuff. So there it is. They're kind of hiding behind there. Those are just the boxes, though. We actually have the console systems that we'll see in a minute here. Uh, right below that, we got the NES Classic Edition and the Super Nintendo Classic Edition. So both of them, uh, nice and sealed in, in, in those plastics. I, I've played with them, though, so yeah. And then we have the controller, of course. The extra controller, because they only gave one inside of the NES Classic Edition. So they, they had to sell a separate one, and those are pretty rare. They're tough to find. The actual controller is almost just as worth as much as the uh, system itself. Here's a nice steel book of uh, Super Mario uh, Brothers 2 on the DS, the well, the 3DS. And then uh, we got a Virtual Boy game here, a couple of uh, manuals, and then we have some NES games, my favorite NES games of all time right there. I am missing a couple. I'm still collecting some of them. And then here are some uh, Nintendo 64 games. Again, I'm just getting the games that I used to love as a kid. So we got Pokemon Snap and Paper Mario, other games like uh, 007, GoldenEye, uh, Donkey Kong 64, Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, and um, Mario Kart 64. Obviously, I got some other games uh, like Mario 64 and uh, even Zelda Majora's Mask and Ocarina of Time, but they're just displayed elsewhere right now, so we'll see them later. We got a couple of uh, my favorite Game Boy games and... and uh, and uh, Game Boy Advance games and some little figurines and then we got some more games here complete in box and all that and all sealed and protected these are mainly just Mario games my favorite games is always Mario some Atari games a couple here I don't have much Atari stuff but yeah there it is and uh, of course the Super Game Boy with Tetris inside a classic so you could play that inside of a Super Nintendo. And then this is the startup disc for the Game Boy player. You could play Game Boy games on your GameCube. Speaking of, there are some GameCube games right here. And I know I have two times the Ultimate Spider-Man. It's just that I was trying to complete one to get the manual inside of the other one. And I had to buy another one that had like the box. And it was actually cheaper than the manual. So that's a nice little painting that I have from my 16-year-old daughter. And I kept it all these years and this is my first ever article uh inside of because uh, i used to be an artist some of you know i was a singer songwriter and they wrote articles about me many times but that was my first one and then um these really cool light up domes for the original pokemon and then these little guys uh right there the mario kart figures and we have the atari uh junior right here 2600 junior uh, just laying there. I got the wires uh, inside some of the drawers. And then this is the uh, Anbernic RG556. It's like the latest model. It's really cool. It plays a lot of retro games and uh, ROMs and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's a amazing little console uh, on the go. And, then, of course, we got these really cool nostalgic pieces right here. And, of course, the Game & Watch. I got the one for the um, Zelda that they brought out a couple of years ago, and then the Mario one, again, a couple of years ago. A big Mario figure here with the 
NES uh, World Championship cart there. That's the one that comes with the deluxe set. And then my old DVD player and this VCR. I've had this VCR since I was like 16, man, or 17. I don't know. I've had it forever. I got the CRT not that long ago. And we have uh, Mario Paint complete in its box back there. We got like the mouse and the board and everything and the pad and everything's there. And we got my PS2. I got the box for that, a complete box for that, and a complete box for the Wii system that's there. So the Wii is there too. Those are just drawers with a bunch of wires and things that we need. And yeah, there's controllers. So yeah, that's nice. Keep all that stuff in there. And my PS2 games, I'm still collecting some of these. I'm missing some uh, from my childhood, but there's a lot of them right here. So, yeah, love those. And then my NES games, again, all from my childhood. I'm only collecting these things that were from my childhood, games that I really enjoyed when I was a kid. Feel free to pause anytime to kind of see what I got here, but there is uh, quite a bit to go through. Uh, so that's uh, mainly the games. And then we're going to go towards the consoles. Uh, and then we have here uh, Mario, like the first game, uh, Duck Hunt, uh, Amiibos and stuff. And, and here are the consoles, the NES, the Super NES with the Super Mario World game in the box in the back. And the GameCube. And of course, my Nintendo 64 with uh, Mario 64 in the back. Uh, in the box and all that. And then some old retro games, board games and stuff. And of course, a couple of SNES games down here. I'm sure many of you are going to recognize. Uh, and here are some little figures and stuff. And I really love horror movies. And these were my favorite of all time right here. These little characters. We even got like the Chucky box. It's a very small one there. Uh, all of the Jason masks. Jason is my favorite. So all of his masks throughout the years and the films are there. And then we got the actual figures themselves. We got Michael Myers and Jason Voorhees and Freddy Krueger and Leatherface and Chucky and and uh, the Screen Ghostface Killer. They're, they're all there. And so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much the retro closet right there. Uh, and uh, we've got a couple of action figures. I uh, found these at the dollar store quite recently. So just thought I'd get them. Why not? And then we have the Target exclusive Stranger Things characters. Got them all. I got the whole set right here, as you can see. Even with 11. And all of these together, they uh, form the Demogorgon. Like, they have the parts, like the arms and the face and the head and the torso. Now we move on to the Superman stuff. I'm a big Superman fan, especially. Uh, the uh, Superman and Doomsday Saga. Some of you might not know or care much about that, but uh, for those who do know, then you're in the right place. So that's an actual, uh, that's ripped out of a comic right here. That's that's an actual page that's ripped out and then because uh, I had an extra comic, so why not? These are figures from the movie, the DVD Superman Doomsday. These are the actual figures that came with it. Well, they released while they released that movie. It's an animated uh, movie. And uh, there are some more pages from an extra comic uh, that I had. These were promo shots, uh, and I really liked them, so I put them in the uh, frames. And then there, this nice multiverse figure of the first ever Superman, and this really weird-looking Superman called Hunter Prey. Um, it's from actually like the ending series, anyways, with Doomsday when he fights him off again. And then these random little figures here that I found. Uh, the little doll my kids want me to grab is a round doll. This is probably my favorite piece right here. It's the, uh, this, uh, this is straight from the 90s. It's the figurines, the Doomsday and Superman figurines with the comic book in the back. It's the actual novel though. So it has the whole series back there, all in one box. And then again, the multiverse uh, gold label uh, of the Superman and Doomsday look very different, but they're really, really cool looking. And then I have another Super Nintendo game here. Uh, this is the Superman and, uh, well, this is basically the death and return of Superman. It's from the Doomsday Saga again. They made a video game, of course. And then we got a couple of movies at the bottom. We got some 
DVDs with the lenticle, like the special lenticle cover right here, you can see. And then the ones that came with action figures. This is so good. These movies right here, if you could find these, go ahead and, and watch them. They're really, really, really good. And in these random little action figures that I found in a thrift store. Uh, and then this really cool piece right here uh, that's framed. It's the uh, tombstone for Superman, basically. So now let's move on here in the back. I don't see this spot too often because the door is like always open. But yeah, there's some Marvel Legend uh, Spider-Man figures because Spider-Man is my favorite Marvel character and DC is Superman, my favorite. And we got some Walking Dead stuff. We got these really cool figures, Negan and Abraham, and of course, Daryl. And then we go on to Rick, Michonne, and we even have, we even have Coral right here. Yeah, there he is. And I have the bat. I have Lucille. You can see that. She's beautiful. I love that thing. Such a nice piece um, in my collection. Here we're about to hit the Zelda stuff. This is my Zelda shelf. Um, so let's have a nice look at that. So there's a lot to uncover here, uh, even if it doesn't look like that much, but let's go. So let's start at the top. Uh, we have the actual console in the box. We have a couple of controllers right next to it. This is all Tears of the Kingdom stuff, except for that second green controller. Uh, we have the puzzle and the official guides and a mug and a controller uh, grip and the collector's edition all still sealed right here. So that just beautiful pieces in there. Uh, then of course my console is here with a nice protector uh, on top. Uh, we play this console very regularly. So it's, it's an OLED system. I love it. And then we have the official controller, and then we have Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom, and all of my games are in the back. Like, my Switch physical like cases are all hidden in the back there. Uh, a couple of figures and stuff uh, that we found in stores and, and stuff. So, And then, of course, we got the uh, Amiibos. We got Ganondorf from Tears of the Kingdom and Zelda, and um, none other but Link. Of course, there's Link. Um... And, uh, yeah, there's a nice rupee right there. And then we move on to the second shelf. These are the games I was talking about. So we got, like, the Zelda NES game and Majora's Mask. And there's a nice Breath of the Wild Link, um, you know, with the tunic and everything. And, uh, this is actually die-cast. Looks really cool. You got the shield and sword and everything. And then these really cool pins. I love these. Uh, and some extra games, Minish Cap and Ocarina of Time and Skyward Sword in the back and a Link Between Worlds and um, and then of course uh, Link's Awakening right here which for some reason is toppled over and it's uh, the amiibo that goes with it and of course some other games and the Ocarina of Time is right there. Um, so yeah, I mean, just a bunch of classic games. These are all games that I've played and really love from Zelda. It's not every single game. It's missing a lot. And then my Superman book collection. So you can see they're all here, along with The Walking Dead. Um, but yeah, I got omnibuses and, and just novels and, and stuff. And hidden right under here is uh, an omnibus for Spider-Man. I'm trying to uncover that. But yeah, it's as thick as like the Superman one that you see at the bottom here. Now, the comic series here is just based on from the moment Doomsday appeared all the way to the final fight, you know, basically. So it's the whole saga for Doomsday in the comic books. I used to love this when I was a kid. And uh, then I have that special edition right there in the bag. And this is the 30th anniversary special edition with the bag and all that. And then we have the Switch Online controllers. There's a pair of NES controllers. You can't see the other one. It's like behind the, any, the Super Nintendo one. And then the uh, Nintendo 64 stuff. And here are all like, this is where I keep my physical cartridge games. Got a bunch of downloaded games, but uh, the physical ones are all in here. Mainly Mario that I like to collect physical Zelda and Pokemon. And some other ones I just happen to get either because they're on special or I really like them and some games for my kids like Paw Patrol and even the Smurfs. 
So we got here, like this is a clip that you can actually clip the switch system onto it and then a controller and then you can play with like a controller while it's in your hands, like with the switch system, it's really cool. It's just much more comfortable. Sometimes I'll use that. So here's a bunch of like exclusive little books. Again, this is from like 1993. It's seen better days, but I put it in plastic to kind of preserve it, make sure it looks okay for the longest time possible. And then some more stuff from the new movies is mainly this is just Mario 1993 and 2023. These are activity books or just literal books, you know, story books. And because they're part of these movies, I get them even if they're made for kids. And I, I usually would pick up a copy for my kids as well. So they have like, they have a copy of all of these things. And uh, yeah, so activity books, coloring books, um, all from the official movies, the two um, the 1993 movie and the uh, and a new movie. So, and then we bring out the big one right here, Pog. Some of you might remember what this is, but this was a huge part of my childhood, uh, and I started collecting these again. This is you guys are seeing the first part of it. Like I don't, I don't have many. I really don't have many. There's the Mario ones or the Nintendo ones, and then the Simpsons uh, one. I have. The whole collection i used to have all of these when i was a kid i i cannot remember where the hell they went but there they are uh got them again and um and I, i'm going to continue uh, to collect these I, I made this whole album myself uh printed out all this and just i made it look like it was like the 90s and it feels really cool just looking at this um so I'm going to get more pogs, but yeah, for now, this is what I got. I love this. This is my pride and joy of the Superman collection uh, from the Doomsday Saga, of course. Uh, and he brought out some cards uh, for this. So the Death of Superman cards. And we have like the complete information on that. Like right here, I even printed out the pages so you can see that. Man, I'm a nerd. I'm such a nerd. Like all of the details and info of when this stuff released and why and how many there are and you know, uh, and all the numbers for each card and all the special edition cards are back here. And then you can see like, they're all here. Like this is, this is the whole first set. It's like a hundred cards here. And then we got the special cards here. These are like chase cards, they call them. So you don't, you don't find these. They're either promo cards that are given to you or uh, you, you find them if you're lucky, you know, and then those four ones right here, very rare cards right here, tough to find. And then we have the return of Superman. So this is when he returned. And of course they made cards for that too. And again, all the information and the card numbers are there. And um, yeah, got the whole series here as well. Uh, this is all stuff that happened uh, during the return of Superman. And then of course the rare cards. Now this one here, this title card is called, um, it, it's, it's such a rare card. Like that's the last card that I found. It took me forever to find. And then we got these gold like foil cards. They look really cool. I love those. And we got the bloodline stuff. This kind of happened in between, between the death and the return of Superman. So this is when there were like four fake Superman that came out. Uh, so confusing the storyline, but here it is. And um, I, I got all the cards for that as well. The complete set and the rare cards are in the back here. Uh, these are like embossed like they're really cool like you can actually feel them you can't see it really but you can definitely feel it and this middle card right here with superman was tough to get like you had to send in the blue card to the company if you found that card then they would send you that superman card and then we got the kellogg's uh six pack here they, they had this in canada again it's it's all part of the return and death of superman stuff so uh yeah i got i got those uh, special six cards all stuff from the 90s right in there but the official like binder there that's an official binder i didn't make that it's an actual thing so and then we have the uh mario like the mario movie here you see 1993 and um they actually made cards too back in the 90s cards were really popular they made cards for almost everything so we got the complete set for mario uh pause when you want i'm just gonna filter through all of these uh it's just a few pages so uh yeah just have a good look spoiler alert uh because you're definitely going to be seeing uh, scenes from the movie <laughs> 
that's really what this is and here we go this is like the last page uh we got some really cool hologram ones right here uh, amazing cards I really i, I can't you I can't justify these cards on camera it's impossible but they're really cool hologram cards and of course got promo cards the one at the top here and the one at the bottom these were very rare and difficult to get and that's it that's that's the whole collection for that uh next to all of the switch stuff we actually uh you know we have a bunch of zelda stuff here but uh tears of the kingdom is what i collect mostly and i got all of the cases that i could find so the switch cases for tears of the kingdom there's too many there's too many i think there's a couple more i still don't have this is a nice bag that you put on your back sort of it's really cool uh these are all like official yeah licensed stuff uh from uh from zelda's tears of the kingdom and uh yeah that's uh that's a that's the gist of all the stuff and that's it that's the that's the tour hopefully you guys enjoy that uh i've been i've been kind of wanting to make a video like this for a long time you know, just kind of show uh the you know uh, non-character non-fictional side of me you know i don't get to show this stuff off to many people i'm always working i'm a family man and uh, all my friends are also busy with their own family lives and working and and so i don't really get to show this off to anybody and um you know it, it's kind of cool to do that i'm not gonna lie i know certainly my kids and my wife they love this room uh, we all love coming in here and just playing video games or watching movies or just the kids just are in awe they feel like they're in a store here and um, you know they, they play a lot of the classic stuff so uh which is really cool because everything is set up and ready to play when I when I had the heart attack and, and I had quit uh, smoking cigarettes and I had quit smoking weed and eating unhealthy and started losing some weight because I was not doing good I was I was much bigger than what you're seeing right now I'm kind of uh, I still got the uh, see this well it's because I'm getting old I am 40 years old now so and I'm not like exercising on a regular so I hate this I hate this little this little thing here I'm starting to get the Joe Biden you know freaking chicken neck or some shit you know I needed something to replace after the heart attack as I quit all of the cool shit that I used to love eating smoking weed and smoking cigarettes and that was like my hobbies and and now with the extra like saved money and and just extra time I, I didn't know what to do with that you know and I was like hey let's rewind time and and let me just go back and, and revisit you know um, my childhood you know back when it was a simpler time for me and back when it was you know, I wasn't scared of getting a heart attack. You know, I don't know for what reason I needed to revisit the nostalgia part and just collecting some really cool stuff. Maybe because when I was a kid, I, I could never do something like this before. Um, I, 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 I could never hold on to some money or, uh, you know, keep some of my stuff because we were always moving. I would lose some or we would have to sell some because we weren't doing good. Sorry about the kids in the back. And uh, I am taking a bit of a break on the collecting now. Uh, I just don't know where else to go. I, I, I feel like I've gotten the stuff I, I mostly wanted. Over time, I'll get some new stuff. And if you guys watch my streams, uh, you'll definitely know, um, you know, when I do get some of the new stuff, I'll, I'll constantly update you guys. Speaking of streams, you know, I'm not streaming. Some of you might know, not know, uh, that I, I'm not streaming during uh, the summertime. So six months out of the year, I'm just kind of working. And the other six months during the winter time, the down period, and I'm not working during winter. So uh, it's a seasonal job. And, and so I like that because I get to, I get to go back to streaming and, and enjoy that. So um, winter time, I'll be streaming regularly. Um, again, hopefully you guys are going to join me. And yeah, so I think that's about it. Uh, there's not much, much else. Health wise, I'm, I'm doing great. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, kids, wife, me, we're all healthy. We're all happy. Things are going okay and um, hopefully it stays that way so uh, I guess I hope I see you guys in the, the streams uh, maybe I'll make another video at some point but uh, until then you know just make sure you leave a like comment subscribe doesn't really matter I don't care about making a living off of YouTube but if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos maybe I can make some more maybe I can make some some videos of me at work or I don't know maybe we just you know live streams and stuff like that uh, who knows but for now I gotta get going I want to thank you guys for joining me throughout this video and until next time as always please stay awesome and stay safe much love